Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniel and today I'm going to present to you the Microsoft Surface headphones. So I've owned these guys since December now and I've used them daily when I commute to my university. I always use them during the bus ride while walking on campus. And really that gave me the chance to test out how the noise cancelling is, how the music quality is and just how it feels comfort wise on your head. <laughs> This comes in a nice carrying package, hard material, I really like it sturdy, I can have it in my backpack and it's protected even if other stuff is pressing against it. So if we open this, this is what we get. So we get the headphones and we've got a little compartment here where you can have your cable in this kind of mesh space. You just get a regular USB-C cable so you can charge the headphones. You get an aux cord cable so you can listen to music with a device that might not have Bluetooth or if you're out of battery you can still use the cable. And just a little paper insert here that shows you where the controls are and what the different motions for clicking, pressing are to get the controls on the side panels right here. Let's put that away and just carry about the headphones. So here are the headphones right now. We got some plushy headphone covers right here, the ear cups were really nice and comfortable and even after an hour or two still stay really comfortable. Overall the build quality is very good, it's flexible in multiple directions and it feels really comfortable. What's really cool is the way they designed these headphones is it doesn't just come down and then connect straight to the headphones. It makes this little cut right here to the side and then connects so when you actually have it on your head the cups are perfectly ergonomical and this just kind of swings around so it feels really nice and comfortable. You get of course really high quality bands right here to change the size. And there's some metal right here which feels really good build quality. The only thing I have to say that I don't like about this is the material that's right here giving you support on the head. It's this kind of rubbish material which isn't too soft, it's kind of firm because you can press it easily down to the plastic ring and having it on top of your head after an hour you can start to feel it. But besides that for the first headphone they created, they did a really good job on the design. Now let's go down to the features. These are marketed as Bluetooth headphones with noise cancelling. They have active noise cancelling and passive. The noise cancelling, I have to say, is pretty good compared to what I've tried out. I tried like the Bose and the Sony and like all the other competitors. And it's not the best. And overall, I would say even if you just try it on here and there, you still hear hummings and stuff like that, which comes, I mean, they're not completely 100% soundproof, but they do a pretty good job. And what I really like, this style, do I have a website? Yeah. This style is the noise cancelling dial, so you get different levels and you can adapt to how much noise cancelling you want and you can even go all the way past noise cancelling for one or two steps and then it amplifies ambient sound and you can hear a little bit more on what's happening in the outside which is really nice. Like Then the next thing of course is how's the sound quality, the music quality. So I mainly listen to like hip-hop, rap, electronic music and that kind of stuff so there's a lot of bass. Sound wise I have to say they're definitely not the best I've had. I've had a lot of headphones that I'd say arguably sound better especially in the lows and highs but overall they're not bad headphones so they're definitely not bad. I enjoy listening to my music it doesn't sound bad. The bass is there I mean it could be a little heavier but it's completely fine the way it is so I'd say they need a few more tries to get that really bad because that's a thing that Sony Bose um, Beats by Dr. Dre have. They have years experience in making the profiles, so of course they're gonna sound a little better. And that I would say is kind of the biggest, I guess, negative thing about it, or not so great. Then overall features, it's pretty cool. It has voice assistant built in, mainly Cortana. On the app you can switch it to other ones if you use different ones. But you can just press really long here and then Cortana opens and talk to it. There's also built a microphone for taking calls. You can call up Cortana and ask her to do stuff like add stuff to your calendar, you know, the basic support by voice assistants. Then there are a few gimmick features here and there like, for example, if you're wearing the headphones, 
and you take them off and put them around your shoulders, the headphones will detect that and automatically pause the music and if you put them back on, it will resume the music. I have to say that works pretty well. I've read some reviews on Amazon here where people said it didn't work so well and that they would automatically start playing and pausing. I've never had that happen to me. For me, it always works perfectly, never paused randomly. And I would say 90% of the time when I take them off the music pauses, I think there were one or two times where I kind of was holding it weird. But besides that, that works really great. So I don't know what these people have. Um, then on the, let's go to the ports on the device itself. So what we get is on the right ear cup, power button right here, we get the micro, uh, this is a microphone mute button. We get the USB-C adapter right here and then the aux cord. Then on the other side, we, it's just plain plastic with the dials like on both sides. Like I said, it has a USB-C port. It comes with a cable. You can charge it with USB-C, which I love since now the phones and laptops, everyone is moving more towards USB-C, having little accessories like headphones and stuff moving on from micro USB to USB-C is really nice. So I can use the same cable that I charge my phone with, charge three of this. Um, let's talk about battery life while charging these things. So the advertised battery life is 15 hours on those things. I found the full on active noise canceling, you get around 12-ish hours plus and minus, would be my experience so far. They do charge pretty fast. They only take two hours to completely charge. And if you have a quick charger and you just wanna throw them on for 15 minutes, they can charge, I think, two or three hours in 15 minutes. So that is pretty cool. They are of course compatible with every laptop, phone, peripheral that has Bluetooth. Otherwise you can also use the aux cord, just like regular headphones, plug it into your Xbox controller or other devices. And then of course they come with a one year factory warranty. If anything breaks on Microsoft side, otherwise they don't come with anything, which I don't even think is needed that much because they seem pretty high build material and quality and pretty sturdy. So yeah. That was my review of the Microsoft Surface headphone. If you liked it, leave a like and comment on how you think, and I'll see you guys next time.